Let's dive right into a fascinating topic, the concept of heaven. Have you ever wondered if heaven is real? Or if there's more than one heaven? A closer look at the Bible reveals some intriguing insights. Genesis 1 verse 1 starts with, In the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. Notice the plural form, heavens, not heaven. This plurality is echoed in Genesis 2 verse 1 and Psalms 19 verse 1, suggesting the existence of more than one heaven. The scriptures hint at three heavens. The first heaven refers to the sky or the atmosphere. It's the realm we see every day, where weather phenomena occur. When the Bible mentions God opening the windows of heaven, it's referring to physical events like rain and sunshine that promote agricultural growth and prosperity. The second heaven is believed to be an invisible realm inhabited by angels and demons. It's a battleground for spiritual warfare. Ephesians 2 verse 2 and 6 12 refer to Satan as the ruler of the air and mention spiritual forces in the heavenly realm. These entities are invisible, which might explain why prayer can sometimes feel like a struggle against unseen resistance. The third heaven, the most exciting one, is the dwelling place of God. Apostle Paul, in 2 Corinthians 12 verses 2-3, talks about being caught up to the third heaven, a place he calls paradise. This heaven is also referred to as the Father's house a city designed and built by God, a better country and paradise. Heaven is often discussed at funerals as our future home, but it's also our present hope. It fuels our spiritual journey today. As Christians, we focus not on what we're going through, but on where we're going to. Heaven is our blessed hope, giving us joy and a sense of perspective amid life's challenges. C.S. Lewis once said that people who accuse others of being so heavenly-minded that their earthly no good have got it wrong. The Bible encourages us to be heavenly-minded. In fact, many of us are earthly no good because we're not heavenly-minded enough. We need to live with constant anticipation of the coming of the Lord and our eventual journey to spend eternity with Him. This isn't about desiring to die or packing our bags because Jesus is coming tomorrow. It's about living with hope and anticipation. If you're going through a loss, grief, or deep disappointment, remember that heaven is your hope. Lift your eyes to the hills where your help comes from. Rejoice, for great is your reward. You will reach your home, and you're not home yet. We're just passing through. So, what are you most excited about when it comes to heaven? Who are you most excited to meet there? Let us know. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're excited for heaven. Until next time, stay blessed.